Hello everyone and welcome. Today we are having a closer look at the Platinum Plaisir. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly and not totally butchering it. But anyway, this is the pen. It is a... Uh, it's, it's sort of a classic design. Um, by the way, if you have one of these, let me know how, how they write, what your experience is like. This one has a fine nib. Um, and I have, I have another one. I've got two of them and the other one has a medium nib. So uh, very different writing experience, uh, as I guess you would expect. But um, anyway, we can, we can have a look at the design of this pen. It's, it's got a sort of a, I think, a mix between a classic and a modern design. Um, classic cigar shape. Um, this one is black, so it's very traditional. Um, the clip, we'll, we'll take a closer look in a minute, but the clip also very uh, minimalistic, sort of. It's, it's, I, like, I like the sleek, modern, basic, uh, look, I, I think that looks really nice, but at the same time it combines it with I think it was what is sort of traditional. The center band is quite a big, uh, quite a big center band there. I would have preferred something a little bit smaller. I think this this really stands out and it uh, draws your attention to to the center band, which uh, it's not a bad thing. I just think I, I would have loved something a little bit more subtle in the middle. This is aluminium, by the way, and you wouldn't tell it if you pick this pen up. It is so light. This pen weighs almost nothing. Um, unfortunately, I can't weigh it for you. So if you know what the, the weight is of this pen, let me know. But um, very, very lightweight. So if you if you like a pen that, that doesn't have a lot of weight to it, this is certainly one to consider. I really like the fact that this is a, it is a beautiful pen. Um, very classic but it's not expensive at all it's not going to break the bank um, you could for I, I don't know what they go for but but in any case uh, not expensive pen but really great uh, really great looking um, yeah let's have a closer look at it all right everyone we'll take a closer look at the platinum plies here I'm doing something different I actually recorded these already and it didn't work I uh, had a problem with my camera so I'm doing something different so I've got two here I've got the the black version and the shall I just call it the other color I'm not sure maybe I should look it up I don't know what this is called but it's sort of a bright green yellow color which I actually do enjoy but let's just have a closer look at the at this one now these pens are uh, aluminium uh, bodies so it feels very light I can tell you that it's got a it's it weighs almost nothing so if you like a pen that's not heavy um, this might be something for you it's a snap cap and it has a very satisfying click it's actually it locks quite well into place so this cap is not going anywhere by itself the clip on this um, very tight and springy, very functional. It's not too tight. It, it will work um, very well. Uh, nothing at the top and nothing at the bottom. So no, um, nothing fancy there. Just very basic, traditional, classic. Um, the clip, I think, is quite understated. It, it doesn't draw your attention to it or anything like that, but it's, it's quite nice. The center band, um, you will see it says plaisir and then well, let's rotate it this way platinum japan platinum japan and plaisir i would have preferred a uh, a more subtle center band because i think the, the it, it really draws your attention to it but it's it's perfectly fine i mean it's just uh, it's just my preference if we uncap the pin the um, section would be, I suppose, very familiar um, to you because this is what you would find on the Platinum Preppy and the, the pre-font. Um, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but uh, it's a very familiar section. The nib as well. Same nib and section, I believe. The nib is 
what I call a sort of a square nib. It's, it's not your traditional classic nib. I think it's more, probably more modern looking, but it is certainly very functional. It works well, and that's what it's designed to do. The section is semi-transparent, so you can see your, your ink in there. Barrel unscrews, and well, I have a, a converter in this one, platinum converter, they are definitely worth getting. They hold a decent amount of ink and I haven't had any issues with them. So we've got um, well, metal on plastic um, and sometimes you just have to get it at the right angle. I don't, it's, it, it's very smooth. Um, the barrel on the section there is uh, it's not going to have any significant wear or tear, I think, um, even if you unscrew it quite a lot. So in terms of uh, just if we can summarize the, the bolt quality on this pen, I think is really, really good. Um, it's not a heavy pen, it's quite light, but the materials that, that are used, I think it's really good. I get the feeling that this pen might scratch quite easily, um, but I don't know, I don't throw my pens around a lot, so uh, I don't think mine will scratch easily, but if you if you do just, you know, throw it in a bag or something like that, it might scratch, I think. Um, the, the other one that I have, maybe just for comparison, I really love this color, I think this is something that um, this will definitely get people's attention. It's beautiful, actually. And what's nice about this one is when you uh, uncap it, the um, converter, because the section is transparent, um, and I have a converter with gold accents, it sort of, it, it shows through on the, um, on the section. Uh, you see, you just have to, this is the, the only thing that I find irritating. But there we go, and I actually like the way that it looks over there. It's actually quite nice. So, all in all, I think bolt quality really good. Let's do a writing sample and see how these pens compare. They are two very different pens um, in terms of the nibs, a fine and a medium, and the writing experience, I can tell you, is quite different. So, let's have a closer look. As usual, I'll be using my Rhodia dot pad for the writing sample. All right, let's have a closer look at the Platinum Plaisir. And I actually have two of these. I have a black, and then I have this, um, what is this, like a yellow, green, um, I don't know what this color is officially called, but I think these two pens um, offer something very different. You have a very classical, traditional look, and then you have like a funky, arty, look on this one and I, I really like both of them but on the uh, on the black one I have a fine nib and on the green yellow I have a medium nib and they provide very different writing experiences and we will definitely have a look at that. Please forgive my handwriting with this. Platinum plies here. This is a fine. And it's quite a dry nib as you can see. The ink I am using Schaefer Black. And although this is a a dry nib, it's a fine nib and it's a dry nib, it has no problem keeping up. As you can see, you can absolutely no problem there. Line variation is not something that you should expect from the spin. Oh, it uh, looks horrible today. Maybe a tiny, maybe a tiny bit, but I wouldn't put pressure on this nub. It's not what it was meant to do. I, um, the nice thing about the, the fine nib that's a little bit drier on this pen is that you could use this on paper that you wouldn't 
<coughs> excuse me, normally use a fountain pen. So you can use this on cheaper quality paper and it's not going to, to bleed through the paper as much. Um, although it's a fine nib, I can tell you it's, it's quite smooth, it's very comfortable, I enjoy using this pen. Um, the only thing, like I said, it's a, it's a little bit dry, so sometimes if I, if I want to use an ink where I really want to enjoy the ink as well, I might not use this one. Um, then perhaps it's better to go for something like a medium nib because it does provide a different experience. And let's just have a look at this one, right? So this is the, get some, hope we get some good focus there. Platinum. Plaisir. And this is a medium nib. Wetness is a lot better on this one. The ink that I'm using here Hiroshizuku and for a moment I forget how to write this I don't want to make a mistake there it's chikarin that's the ink that I'm using um, this pen is plenty wet absolutely no problem keeping up so ink flow very good it's also a very nice uh, ink to use combination um, you're not again you're not going to get line variation but with the ink if it's an ink that you um, that you enjoy you might get some uh, really lovely shading uh, which you do get with this one um, so this is not about the ink but this is the Hiroshizuku Chikorin it's a bamboo green and it's a, it's a lovely ink I'll, I'll maybe just show you quickly what this bottle these bottles are, are just lovely if I take this out and look at that anyway it's not about the ink today it's just about the pens so in conclusion I think these are really excellent value for money pens essentially what you get is the consistency and the quality of the section and the nib of the platinum preppy which is I think so tried and tasted in a body that is metal that looks beautiful that that is quality all the way through I think a pen like this will last you many many years it's an, and it's not expensive I think this is actually um, cheaper than my Pilot Metropolitan so in terms of price these are really really affordable and they come in many different colors and uh, I would absolutely recommend them they are definitely some of my favorite pens really good quality absolute bang for your buck um, so if you don't have them go and get them if you have some of these let me know what your writing experience is like. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe. I appreciate the support. And uh, thank you for watching today. I will see you next time.